how I finally got rid of my back pain using my 3D printer. So my name is Ryan, I make stuff in my garage. If you wanna learn how to make stuff at home or whatever for free, please consider subscribing, liking, so other people can hear about this because I'm gonna to explain to you something that it doesn't matter where you get something like this because there's products that are on the market this basically removes a pressure point that's deep inside your body, right next to your hip called the ilicus. What it does is it goes underneath your, inside of your hip, you have a couple different long muscles and you have a short muscles that are extremely hard to reach. One of, one of them is called the ilicus. So I started to get a lot of Facebook ads on this. Well, what if it doesn't quite hit the spot? How can I adapt it? The product was so expensive, I said, you know, I, I really want to be in control of this, so I decided to 3D print it. And I was skeptical. So I printed it in half. This part separates so you, you can move it inside of your muscle. So basically your hip is right here, whatever that's called. I'm not a doctor. And this will go in and it will hook. I call this the body hook. And it will push into your ilicus. And I'm thinking, man, I, I told, talked through this by Byron. He said, that looks like a torture device. And I said, okay, I just got to make it. So this was made out of really, really strong material with a really great inf infill. Took a while to 3D print, but it hasn't broken and it worked. Let me just tell you what's up. The pain I was having was in my back. And it was always on one side. I don't know what it's called. I'll try to search the muscle and put that up on the screen. And it was on the left side or the right side, depending on the activity I would do. Now, I have uh, tinnitus. I have um, some weird referred pain, some stuff that's kind of moving up. I don't feel old. I just have had this back pain. And I kind of was thinking, OK, I'm going to do everything to take care of it. So you know that I printed my 3D guard that, that vibrates if I clench at night. Um, if you follow my channel, I made a, a thing that I call the vibration switch or a feedback switch. And basically you glue it to a mouth guard and if you clench at night, it will uh, vibrate and break up your clenching routine or whatever bruxism. So I'm thinking, okay, I did that and that was successful. Um, I call that the feedback switch and I, you know, I've used that every single night. It's not invasive and you, it's very slim. So I'm thinking, okay, what else can I do? And so then what I was thinking about with this is that I could print this out of soft material, which is called TPU, and then I could move it apart. So this end, I could print the hook end, I could print differently. And then by making it modular, I could end up doing different things. Like I could put this in different directions and I said, okay, I can be complete control of all my trigger points. All right, so what I did was I finished this and it sat for a day. Then I decided to make this crazy Halloween thing for the front of my door, this absurd monstrosity. And I did this on a Saturday and I completely blew out my back. So I don't take Advil anymore because it destroyed my stomach. So I sleep kind of in pain and then I ice it up, have a beer, and then in the morning, it's a little bit better. So this morning I woke up with massive back pain and I it is debilitating. I feel old. I feel like I can't walk. I feel like I'm like 140 years old. I think I've outlived my body and I'm sick of it. So I said, you know what, I'm going to do this. And it took me a while. I laid on a yoga mat and I put it inside of my hip, like right here inside of my hip. And it hurt. And I knew that when I dug inside of my hip, that potentially, since I heard about this, if it's tender. But I'm like, how am I going to put something that's tender inside of my hip? So I sat there and I laid it flat and I rotated it. And it pushed up because your ilicus is deep inside of your inside of your hip, your pelvis. And so I moved it back and forth. And after a while, it released. And so I'm thinking, OK, nothing. There was no crack. There was no whatever, you know, sound. And then I started walk, got up and walked around and it literally was gone. The back pain was gone. I never felt any ilicus pain, any pain in my hip. 
where I felt the pain was in my back, almost on the same side. So I did both side. One side was more tender than the other. The side that I had the back pain on was more tender and this took it away. So anyways, um, probably the next thing I'm going to do is print this out of flexible material. And then um, if you, I will share all the products that exist down below on the market that you can buy. I don't, I, I call this the body hook. I don't think I would sell this. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm telling you that you can, can take control of your pain, get rid of your pain by buying a 3D printer, learning how to 3D print and do, finding something, whether or not you have pressure points in your draw that I eliminated with my feedback switch or something. Take control of your pain. Don't live with pain. Okay. I mean, if you have neck pain and they say that you have degeneration of your cervix, buy an extension, a cervical traction collar. Don't ever give in to pain.